And Microphone Monday, we're going to do a microphone lesson. Uh, and we're going to try something different where I'm actually showing you using the microphone. You should be able to hear this. Um, and I'm going to talk about uh, microphone response, polar pattern response, why they are different. Uh, some of you might know this, some of you may not know this. Um, the first thing we're talking about is the cardioid pattern. Now the cardioid, more high-tech graphics here. Here's cardioid. You're going to see your microphone either is going to come with only cardioid pattern or it's going to be switchable and it's going to have several patterns. Why is it called cardioid? Because it's directional. It looks like a heart. This is the direction of the mic. This will be the capsule here. And everything will pick up directly out front. And the more off axis you get, the uh, first thing that will disappear is the high end. Um, we'll, we'll start uh, getting uh, off axis rejection. And this is displaying the off axis rejection of the mic. So you will get less volume, but it starts with frequencies will start disappearing first and that'll be the high end. Listen what happens as I turn the microphone away from me. You're going to hear the high end start to disappear, but as I get back to the front, the high end comes back. Now my, this is my on axis signal. Um, now that's a really handy technique. So sometimes if I have a vocal that's a little too bright or an instrument that's too bright, uh, turning slightly off axis can be helpful. Um, and uh, to help to help deal with that, and and that's uh, that's a very useful tool that we use all the time. The other thing is cardioid is is uh, susceptible to proximity effect. Up oh, there's Lola making a cameo today. What's proximity effect? Proximity means the closer I get to the mic, I'm going to talk quietly so they don't blow it out. The closer I get to the mic, the more low end there is. But as I get further away, there's less low end. So these are several ways to use the mic as its own EQ. Do I want more bass? Um, I'm going to move it closer. If I want less bass, I'm going to move it further away. Uh, so frequently when I put a mic near a singer, I'm listening to how much low end I want, uh, and, and that is a factor. That's something to think about. Also, any instrument, same thing. I have been doing acoustic guitar, the closer I am to the acoustic guitar, the more low end there's going to be, the further I am, the, the less low end. Uh, the other, one thing to remember, though, is the further away you are, the less loud the instrument is going to be in relationship to the room sound. So if you're in a room that you hear the ambient sound is, is doing something you don't necessarily want, the further away you get, you're going to have more of that room sound to direct sound ratio. Um, so you have to balance that out. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is the figure eight pattern. Now here in my high tech graphic you can see figure eight. This is figure eight. Here's the capsule which means I'm picking up both sides but one of them happens to be 180 degrees out of phase. So the back side, I'm going to pick up off both sides, but the back side is going to be out of phase. So anything that's coming in equally in both sides from off the side is going to phase cancel. But there's also something else to figure eight. It has less high end in it. Uh, I'm going to show you what that sounds like. Let's switch over to figure eight. This is a, an old 414 EB AKG microphone. Um, these are great mics. And that was the voltage settling in and making some noise there. So you should be able to hear that's a little bit darker than it was in cardioid. Uh, and that's a handy feature sometimes. Uh, sometimes if I have a singer where I have the right mic and going off axis isn't quite making it, you know, it, it, it is darker in the way I want to go. If I have a, a bright mic, but, but the mic sounds good on that vocal, but it's just a little too bright and I'm picking up some high end in a way that isn't pleasant, I might switch the mic over to figure eight and then use that mic in figure eight uh, rather than changing microphones and looking for a dark microphone because I already like the way the body of that mic sounds <clears throat> on that vocal, but I don't necessarily like what the top end is doing. Um, so that's one reason you might want to use figure eight other than to pick up both sides. Uh, it, it has a different sound. 
it's also much more directional than uh, cardioid so you're going to hear when I get into the off axis there it's really going to drop out there because like I said both sides both sides are active and one is 180 degrees out of phase and the polarity difference means that whatever comes in the side is going to phase cancel so uh, a handy uh, use for that is I have a singer and they're playing guitar and I need to mic both of them uh, I might put um, the vocal mic and the mic on the guitar in figure eight because now they're going to be singing up here and whatever comes down is going to be uh, out of phase and, and canceled. Same thing, the guitar is going to come up and I'm going to have more cancellation, more directionality. Very handy tool that way. Um, so another reason why you'd want to use figure eight as opposed to cardioid. You take advantage of that off-axis reject rejection. Uh, and once again, you have to consider it's going to sound slightly different. So it's not necessarily because you want to get both sides at the same time. The last pattern is Omni. The dot is the capsule. And what happens is in Omni, both sides of the capsule are active, but they aren't out of phase. They're in phase. So you're going to get theoretically equal response all the way around the microphone. But Omni also has its own sound. Omni tends to sound brighter and have less bass than cardioid. Uh, it's also less prone to proximity effect. And a true Omni capsule, which is usually just a single um, a, a, a single diaphragm capsule, not a, a dual diaphragm capsule like this, like a real Omni is usually extremely uh, insensitive to proximity effect. You, you won't get much proximity effect, but we're going we're to switch over to Omni right now. We're in Omni right now, and you should hear there's it's brighter, and there's probably less bass. If you're listening on your iPhone, you may not hear it, but take my word for it. And I'm not going to have that reject that, that off-axis rejection on the side. It's not going to get in dark, and the back should sound just the same as the front, and I should have an all-around um, even response to the microphone in, in, in Omni. Uh, so aside from the polar pattern, sometimes I, w I mean, aside from, you know, being able to pick up everything, I will frequently, or not frequently, but occasionally use Omni if I, it, because I want to make a mic brighter. I, I, I may, you know, may have a U47 or something, and I kind of like the sound, but I want to get a little more air out of it, uh, maybe a little less bass. I will switch in an Omni on a vocal sometimes because that may just sit perfectly. And again, you're going to get more ambient sound in there. So you have to judge uh, once you be able, once you're able to pick up uh, everything else around it. Um, am I going to pick reflections up around it? Uh, do I have to use some baffling on the other side or, or, or around the microphone to make sure that uh, I can balance out getting the sound I want from the microphone without capturing too much of an ambient sound that may or may not be helpful in a track? Um, and those are really handy mic technique tips that uh, most really good engineers know, and and, and uh, now you have our secret, um, something to think about. And oh, Lola's Lola's playing the vibra slap. That's that's. Um, she wants a credit on this. So, uh, if you have any other questions about this, just type it in the comments, and I'll I'll try to answer it. But um, here, and we're going to go back to. Before we finish this, we're going to go back to cardio. And as the capsule polarity and, uh, and as the capsule biases to its regular charge, you should be able to hear the difference now. The low end comes back in. And uh, that's the whole deal. Um, hope this was handy. All right.